what's up guys, this is Mario and in today's video I'm going to talk about how to increase your credit score fast for 2020. You guys, having a good credit score can really help you save thousands and thousands of dollars on interest, especially when it comes down to applying for a car loan or a mortgage to buy your first house. A good credit score can help you take advantage of promotions that offer 0% interest on purchases and balance transfers, cash back, travel and even in-store discounts. I could go on and on and on on all the advantages of having good credit score that could really make a difference in your life. So in this video, I'm gonna cover tips and tricks that I have personally used to help me with my credit score that can also help increase your credit score for free. Now, all I ask is you smash that like button, and if you wanna spread the love, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I wanna talk about is payment history. 35% of your credit score is actually based on credit payment history. So how do you pay on time every single time without missing a payment? Pay before the credit card is due. Pay your credit card before the due date, okay? That is the best tip I could offer you. Now, we pretty much, the majority of us get paid on the first or the 15th. So why on earth are you waiting Especially if you have the money, why are you waiting until the, the due date of your credit card bill to pay your credit card bill when you already have the money, okay? There's no reason to do that. As soon as you get paid, you should be paying your credit card, okay? Not only will that help pay your credit card on time every single time, but also you will save money and interest because you are lowering the balance for the next billing cycle, okay? So very important. That's a really good tip to help you. Okay guys, so I wanted to quickly show you guys uh, an example of how uh, payment history will look in your credit report. Uh, as you guys can see, uh, this is a uh, real estate mortgage and you also have the three credit agencies, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. Now, if you go over here, this is a two year payment history. Uh, you'll see every single month, uh, it will say, uh, uh, it will, it will, it, CUR is for current, uh, meaning that you paid your, your payment on time and it's green. Now, if you go all, all over here in April, it will be red and you'll see uh, the number 30, which means that it's 30 days uh, late or more. And you will, uh, and also if you go to here in May, it'll say uh, 60, which is 60 days late or more. Uh, now, one thing I also want to mention is that when you look at your credit uh, report, uh, make sure you look at all three of them, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. Uh, the reason why is because there could be discrepancies. As you guys can see, for the same real estate mortgage, uh, in experience, it says that it was late on April, but in TransUnion, it says it was, it was actually on time. And also in Equifax, it says it was on time. May, it actually reports all these months you were late, uh, but actually uh, in, in June, it only says it was late in, um, in, on, on TransUnion uh, credit report. So it's very, very important guys to uh, check all three credit agencies. And if there are discrepancies, uh, look into them, see which one is correct and have all the other agencies uh, uh, meet the correct one. Uh, so it, your, your other credit uh, reports on the other credit unions are, are not wrong. Right. Tip number two, 30% of your credit score is based on credit utilization. Now, a lot of us have a savings account and we also have credit card debt. Now, our savings accounts only offer like less than 1% interest that's paying towards us. While on the other hand, our credit cards are charging like 10 or 20% interest on our balances. It makes no sense, guys, okay? Use the money you have on your savings account to pay off the debt of your credit card. Not only will you lower your credit card debt, they could increase your credit score because you have a lower credit utilization, but also you will save money on interest. So it's like almost making money if you think about it. Uh, so this is a really, really good tip that I think you help a lot of us because we I did it before, I've done it before, I had a balance and it just doesn't make any sense, okay? Especially if the high balances on your credit cards are 50% or more, this could help your credit card score tremendously by lowering your balances. My recommendation is to have at least no more than 10% of your debt in credit cards, in, in credit cards, okay? So lower that as much as possible. Below 50% is good, 10% or lower, better, okay? So if you have a 10% or lower debt on your credit card, that's gonna increase your credit score tremendously, okay guys? Now, the next tip that I can offer that could also help your credit utilization score, very, very important. Especially if you already have a credit card, the next thing you could do is 
hey, call up your credit card company. Tell them, hey, can you increase my credit uh, limit, please? Please increase my credit limit. By increasing your credit limit on that credit card, that will lower your credit utilization percentage, okay? And again, overall, that will increase your credit score. Very, very good tip. So I recommend you to do that every six to 12 months on each one of your credit cards, okay? Hey guys, I wanted to give you guys a quick example of how credit utilization rate is calculated. Uh, so as you guys can see, this is an example, $53,400 of total credit available. And this could be in, in, in credit cards, this could be in store credit, this could be in, in lines of credit, et cetera. Now, owes $3,350 in total credit. And again, this could be across credit cards, uh, store cards, or lines of credit or even loans, whatever, car loans. Now, as you guys can see, it's only 6%, which is really good. 10% or, or lower is, is a really good rate to have. And again, it's very, it's calculated quite easily by dividing your total debt divided by your total available credit. All right, guys, tip number three. 10% of your credit score is based on new credit. So it's very, very important to keep applying for new credit. So every six to 12 months, you should be applying for a new credit, a new line of credit, like a credit card. So I always recommend to take advantage of promotions. So if you see a uh, promotion, especially in the mail, where it says 0% or, or whatever the case may be, or, or uh, travel uh, airline mile promotions, take advantage of those promotions that again, make the most sense for your own personal finances and open up new credit. Tip number four. 10% of your credit score is based on credit mix. So the diversity of your credit. Uh, do you have a, a car loan, a mortgage, a credit card, or in-store credit? Now, one of the things that really helps a lot of people that people don't think about, and I actually started doing this, is opening line of credit from your bank account. So bank line of credit from your local bank. So if you already, if you work with a bank already, if you have a checking account, a savings account at your local bank, Go, to, go over there and visit them and, and ask them if you can open a line of credit. Now, a bank line of credit will help diversify your, 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 your credit mix because a line of credit is different. A bank line of credit is different from a credit card, different from a mortgage, different from a car loan, and different from, uh, from any other sort of uh, credit. So that will also, not only will that also help uh, your credit score uh, by credit mix, but you also open up, you also have more credit availability, so it will also help on your credit utilization score, um, and you will have more credit limit overall. So it's only better for you. So again, bank line of credit. Tip number five, 15% of your credit score is based on length of credit, average length of credit. So the best thing you could do is never ever close a credit card kind of never, never, ever close a credit line of credit. Okay. Whether it be a, a, a credit card or a store credit card, always try to keep them open. Now, one of the things that has, have actually hurt me before is, um, because I have no activity in some of my credit cards, the banks will close them. Okay. It really hurts you tremendously if your lines of credit cards are closed because that lowers your, your credit availability. And it also eliminates all the payment history that he have accumulated over a time. It's, especially if really old credit cards, you do not wanna miss on those payment history, okay? So to keep them open, hey, use them at least once a year, especially if they're super old credit cards that don't really offer any uh, good interest or any good promotions, really just keep those open by just using them once a year to keep them active, okay? Because if you stop using them, the banks will close them for inactivity, okay? So just keep that in mind. Hey guys, I wanted to quickly give you guys an example of a circle graph of how your credit score is measured. Uh, like I mentioned before, 35% uh, of your credit score is based on payment history. 30% uh, of your payment of your credit score is based on uh, um, credit utilization. So pretty much amounts owed relative to how much uh, you have available in terms of credit. 15% uh, of your credit score is based on length of history. 10% uh, of your credit score is based on frequency of new credit. How many times do you apply for new credit? Uh, again, you should apply for new credit because it does help. And 10% and of your credit score is based on credit mix, you know, types of credit uh, you use, you know. Uh, like for example, do you have car loans? Uh, do you have credit cards? Uh, do you have lines of credit from your bank? 
uh, store credit cards, uh, even mortgages. So that's pretty much it guys. Hope you guys learned something from this video. Uh, again, if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below at the YouTube comments uh, section to support the challenge. That really, really helps. And if you really like my material and you feel like uh, a lot of the stuff is helping you out, hey, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be posting videos every, every single week to help all my uh, friends and family to uh, make a better decisions with their finances. Thank you very much, guys. Until the next time, take care.